Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all of you to this special session of the Senate of our university that is dedicated to confer the title and to award Professor George Vitulkas from Greece with the title of Dr. Honoris Causa. Some people say that we are very, including Professor Vitulkas, said uh, that we are very courageous to invite him for this to, uh, to, to receive this title. Uh, we think that the contribution of each part of the medicine, doesn't matter if traditional, scientific or homeopathic, if it gives something good for the patient, it's important. George Vitulkas, as you already know, is a well-known personality all over the world in uh, the field of home homeopathy and strongly contributed to the implementation of this method in a scientific mode to, uh, to make a real benefit for the patient. I have been honored today with the task of pronouncing the laudatio, the commendation of the merits of Professor George Vitulkas on the occasion of conferring upon him the degree of Dr. Honoris Causa by the Senate of the Victor Babes University of Medicine and Pharmacy Timisoara, Romania, as the undeniable proof that he has won the respect and admiration of the academic community of our university. I must confess, I stay in front of you with deep joy and emotion. It is not easy to portray, in just a few words, the profile of an outstanding individual who has already become part of the international academic elite. In 1980, George Vitolkas was invited by the World Health Organization to write the first article on homeopathy for the book Traditional Medicine published by the WHO. In 1995, he established the International Academy of Classical Homeopathy in Alonisos. In 1996, he was honored for the Right Livelihood Award, also known as Alternative Nobel Prize, for his outstanding contribution to revival of homeopathic knowledge and training of homeopaths with the highest standards. In the same year, he was invited by the European Parliament to explain the position of homeopathy, and after his presentation, the Parliament voted in favor of homeopathy. George Vitolkas was requested by the Council of Europe to make a day-long presentation on homeopathic medicine in 1999 as part of the evaluation of alternative therapeutic methods. In 2000, George Vitolkas was honored with the gold medal of the Hungarian Republic by the country's president, Arpad Gönc, for his work in homeopathic medicine. In 2011, he was nominated Professor Emeritus of the University of the Aegean. Now, it is my privilege, based on the decision of the Senate of the Victor Babes University of Medicine and Pharmacy, to pass George Vitulkas the sign as Dr. Honoris Causa of our university. I don't know if the words that I have written in this paper represent my emotions at this moment. But in any case, since I have written them, I'm going to read them to you. Today is an important day, not only for me personally, but for homeopathy as well. An important day for me personally because you are honoring me, nominating me Dr. Honoris Causa, 
And therefore, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all members of the Senate who took the decision of this nomination. Perhaps in the near future, we may envision that new schools of medicine will emerge where students will be taught not only the technological medicine, but also will be inspired by their teachers as to bring out the best qualities of a healer, which is an inner state of love and wisdom for the benefit of their patients. Thank you for listening to me.